Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. My talk today is about taking care of self. Do you put you first? In my previous podcast, I recommended that you do some introspection as your first step to moving forward. Have you taken action by looking within to find out more about you? Are you harboring negative energies such as fears or doubts? What about those limiting beliefs and other thoughts that are harmful to your system and hampering your progress? Do you find yourself angry or depressed without knowing why? Are you in tune with your feelings and emotions? It is important to understand your triggers. Go back to your childhood days and move forward to the present. Try to recall the issues or situations that were so profound that they remained in your mind up to today, affecting many areas in your life. This exercise can be a bit frightening as it may reveal some bitter memories, but you need to get rid of those destructive bugs before you can truly take care of self. You want to be happy and successful, don't you? Allow me to share my experience doing an introspection exercise during my studies to become certified as a life coach. To better understand myself, I had to get rid of my bugs, which were called gremlins. This also included creating a visual of my gremlin just imagine how difficult this was. Not knowing what to expect or how to go about depicting this gremlin, I approached this activity with an open mind, willing to do what was required to become a better me. I dug deep within, which brought out many emotions, leading to the revelation that my most draining gremlin was my constant feeling of doubt, especially when the situation was about money or progressing to a higher stage in life. My soul searching revealed that this was a res as a result of my childhood experiences, having to do without many of my wants due to insufficient money in the home and the feeling that my circumstances would not allow me to go beyond a certain level in life. My visual was truly an eye-opener. I created a 15 by 20 black and white mounted photo with two sections. One side showed me behind a window with wrought iron bars, looking very dejected. And on the other side, midway up a very tall ladder, with one hand stretched upwards, looking to the sky with a hopeless expression. I still have that photo as a reminder that I have released that gremlin and able to move on and live my dreams without limits. That was a very emotional and daunting experience. But it helped me treat with my other gremlins. Developing a positive attitude and having confidence is vital to you moving forward. Also, reflect on the things and situations that made you happy, your beliefs and your values. What are the joyful moments that remained with you? Who made you feel loved and encouraged you to move on with your goals. Explore your gifts and talents. What did you enjoy doing most? I urge you to take that time out, focus on living your dreams, love yourself, know you are beautiful and deserve to live the life you envisioned for yourself. After my gremlin exercise, I felt light, like a great burden was lifted from me. 
and I approach my goals with great vigor. My enthusiasm led me to also become certified as an energy leadership practitioner to help clients release their blocks and live their best life. Having listened to my good friend Maureen Bowen, an experienced industrial and organizational psychologist, during her fantastic session on emotional wellness at Connect's last workshop, I felt it would be great for her to join me today and share some important points to help you take care of self. Maureen, thanks for joining us. Maureen, very often I hear the saying, take care of yourself before you take care of others. Is this sound advice? And how can we overcome the negative emotions when we get started? In your last podcast, you spoke of introspection, which tells us the importance of healing from within. For that to occur, addressing one's uniqueness is important. We are unique because no one else is like us, even though others may have similar situations and experiences. How do we address our uniqueness? Firstly, by experiencing self-love. Self-love speaks to positive self-talk, maybe even exercise and meditation, good diet and health. Breaking the cycle of denial allows us to accept who we are rather than try to be what others want us to be. For that to happen, understanding the difference between urgent and important in our lives is premium. What do you have to do today to keep yourself happy? Do you have to butt about and do the things that others would like you to do? Or do you have to say no and address the issues which are important to you? Enjoying your quiet time and slowing down your overthinking makes life palatable as well as enjoyable. An enjoyable life can be obtained whether the day is good or bad. Don't let the bad things that happen in a bad day ruin your mental health. Things may not always be in your control, but remember you have a choice. Why do I speak of choice? Because choice gives the opportunity to rejoice. So my friends, rejoice in the fact that today is a good day, that you are blessed, and also you have the opportunity and chance for change. Maureen, as usual, I love your energy and the fact that you actually walk the talk. Friends, get going with these valuable tips. I want you to take care of you. Please join our next Wednesday's pre-recorded podcast to listen to why you don't have to do it alone and also get access to Connect's free gift. Don't forget to send me your feedback by posting on Connect's Facebook page. Or you can email me at connectcoach at gmail.com. You can also revisit this podcast on our website, connectcoaching.com, or our YouTube channel, Connect Coaching YouTube. Connect for a better future.